Hello everybody, it's Cornholio. Uh, as you know, I just got a new BMW 1250, the R1250 GS Adventure. Uh, you guys have seen me with a few videos on it. Um, and there's lots of pairing problems if you have a showy Neotech 2 with the Senna SRL system in it, and I have the new SRL 2 in mine. And there's still pairing issues, and there's plenty of videos out there that tell you how to go about pairing it so that everything works, and I still have problems. Uh, and on the SRL, you know when you hold the big button in for like five seconds, it goes to communication pairing, hold it a few more seconds, it goes to phone pairing. Uh, uh, then you let go and you hit the plus, and it goes to phone pairing. That's your number one phone slot. If you press the button, the plus sign again, it'll tell you phone two pairing. And phone two pairing is how they want you to pair up your NAV6, if you have one. Uh, pair that up to your helmet. And your phone pairs up to the main phone, uh, which is the first slot. But your TFT has to pair up to that slot as well. There are There is another setting, a media select pairing, phone select pairing, which is number press number three and four s slots on the on the SRL. I don't know what those do, but I do know that if you phone pair up your phone to your helmet and the TFT to your helmet as a phone slot, it fights with them on which one it's going to do. And sometimes you don't hear your music, you don't have anything to your headset. At some point in time, they'll select pair and it'll pair them both, but that may be 20 miles down the road or it may not happen at all. So what I have figured out is when you come out to your bike, you're gonna go ahead and um, turn the bike on before you turn your helmet on. So let's just power him up. Let's get our whiz wheel. That's what Mr. Flyer calls it. Uh, let's go and I see I have nothing. There's nothing, no media, no telephone, no navigation, none of that is selected, okay? When you go into settings, see connections is not highlighted yet. If you can see that, it's still kind of grayed out. Wait for that to come on. Give it a few minutes and your connections will uh, tell you that it's ready. Now, it's ready. Okay, now when the connection is ready, we're gonna turn the helmet on now. Now I've got my helmet paired up to the TFT. Hello. Phone connected. Let's see what connected. Did it? Phone all right, you heard two phone connections, all right? So let's go to connections and you'll see that my mobile device and helmet have now both paired up. And I don't have my, I have my phone paired up in the second slot to my GPS, the NAV 6 system. I do not have my phone paired to my helmet. I have the phone paired to the TFT and then I have the TFT paired to my helmet. I also have my phone paired to my helmet. I mean, excuse me, my phone paired to the NAV6. I don't have any problems now connecting up. So now, if you let the connection, that connection turn white out of the grayed out, because you saw it was grayed out at first, let that turn white, then turn your helmet on second. You turn your helmet on first, it just seems to take forever for them to link up. So if we go to connections, you can see that I'm connected. My TFT is connected to my phone and my TFT is connected to my helmet. And my GPS, NAV6, is connected to my phone. I do not have my helmet paired to my phone simply because it fights with the TFT. So we're looking at Bluetooth. I've got the navigation paired up. 
the i66c is the uh, motorcycle and then the uh, my Apple Watch that's it so we're just going to the now in here if I pair my phone up to my helmet it's also in the number one slot on my helmet just like the TFT is in the number one slot so it fights with them now that I have my phone not paired to my helmet I go in And now you see my telephone is up, my media is up, my navigation is up. It's all lit up. Sorry, let me get this up here. They're all lit up now. So I can go into my media and find, let's see what artist I have. Sometimes these are updating and doesn't load up right away. So if I go into my music and I can go and look at all of my different whatever I've got put in here and so to Google Dolls, let's play slide. And I'm not hearing it in my helmet now. Yes. I had the volume down too low. But it is playing through my helmet now. You also have the whiz wheel. Turn the volume up. See it? If I do that, take the whiz wheel, push it left or right, it switches through the fan, the different songs. If I take the whiz wheel and move it up and down, well, it's not showing it now. Let me get back. See the volume there? The whiz wheel controls your volume, even when you're on your main screen. You can hear it in the helmet. So that seems to work. Um, <clears throat> and I don't have to touch my phone very often, maybe once to bring my music up because it hasn't paired up, synced up all of my music yet. And it seems like when I turn it off, it disconnects. I lose my uh, list. So I went to the phone and hit sync up the pairing list and it should put it in there. It was in there earlier today. It's not in there now. So the big thing, like you've always heard, when you pair up your center, you first push this button. You're gonna hear this is the middle button. Press and hold it. Intercom pairing. Not that one, keep holding. Configuration menu. That's it, configuration menu. If you press the plus once. Phone pairing. You hear phone pairing, that's your first slot. Second mobile phone pairing. Second mobile phone. Phone selected pairing. Phone selected. Media selected pairing. Media selected. GPS pairing. GPS. Now I did have. Goodbye. Turn it off. I did have my GPS Nav6 paired up to my helmet in the navigation section and it still fought. Uh, the fighting, and sometimes it takes hours for your everything to pair up just right. And, and, and it's just so aggravating when you turn it on and turn it off and it doesn't pair up. So pair your helmet up to the TFT in the first phone slot. So the only thing I have my phone paired up to is my TFT and the GPS. See, we have the BMW Navigator. That's the, um, that's the Nav6. This ICC6 here is the bike and my watch. That's it, that's all I got it paired up to. And the rider's helmet is paired up in the first phone slot and it works. But when you crank your bike up and turn it on, you have to wait a few seconds. Let's turn it back on again. Let's go to connections. See how they're grayed out now? The nav, media, and telephone, they're grayed out. Let's give it a little bit. Go into settings. Connections is up now. Okay.
Now that I got the white light on the connections, I turn the, sorry, I can't hold this at the same time. I turn the helmet on. Hello. Let's give it a bit. Okay, they're hooked up. It's connected to the nav. It's connected to the motorcycle and the helmet. So that waiting for that connections to come up and not pairing your helmet to your phone, only pair your helmet to the TFT. Only pair the phone to the TFT and pair the phone to the nav. Do not pair the phone to the helmet. And it seems to work. I haven't lost any connections. The only thing that I do see that I'm having an issue with is getting my media to load all of my albums. It's updating. It'll take it a while to load them, but that's on a long trip. But I can always quickly go to my phone and just touch on my music or my um, iHeartRadio app or Spotify or whatever you got and start your playlist and then it pulls it up and you're good to go. Like now playing, it's updating. I actually have to hit one, hit slide. Okay, immediately you can hear it in my helmet. And take my menu and go out and you see it brought up. You can hit it up again, take it back to your main screen. Your volume works with the whiz wheel. Turn it all the way up, turn it all the way down, all the way up. Uh, if you go to the telephone, then my phone book, it's updating them. So the fact that I don't have my phone attached to my helmet, linked to my helmet, now see there, they come up. There's all of my um, different phone list. It shows up pretty quick. The music one, it takes a while for it to show up. But anyway, maybe that helps you. So I'm gonna go over it one more time. First thing I do is I connect my telephone to the TFT in the first phone slot. Well, actually it doesn't ask you for it. What slot you, you connect your phone up to TFT. And then I connect my helmet to the rider's helmet in the first phone slot. And then I connect my phone to my NAV6. I do not have my NAV6 connected to my helmet because you would connect it in GPS or the second phone slot. Um, I just, I don't get it. I don't know why it does that. Um, but I just know that if I have my phone and the TFT both connected to my helmet, they fight for each other and it takes forever for them to link up if they even link up and you have to turn them off and, and relink them all back up. Hope that's understandable. Phone to TFT, phone to GPS, helmet to TFT, and that's it. I don't hook up the phone to the helmet and I don't hook up my helmet to the nav because I don't really care if it tells me of a traffic warning that shows up on it anyway with a little red whatever lines. So I don't need those kind of alerts. Uh, some people like those. So if you like it, then hook your, um, you do not hook your nav up in the first phone slot. You would hook it up in the second phone slot or the GPS slot. So, and then you turn media off. Uh, the only thing I have is a smartphone link and the phone link, but the phone calls and media, I don't want them going through my GPS. I have them going through the TFT and the TFT goes to my helmet and I can control the phone calls with the whiz wheel. Okay, I think that's about it. Uh, 
any questions you guys have leave comments for me and uh we'll go from there hopefully that will help uh it has made mine connect a lot better and a lot faster uh and I think the key thing is not having the phone paired to the helmet because you don't need it paired directly to the helmet. It's paired to the TFT and the TFT is paired to the helmet. If you pair your TFT into the helmet's number one phone slot, it works. And if you do want to pair up your GPS to the helmet, pair that up in the second phone slot. But do not pair your phone up to your helmet uh, most of well, when I get off my helmet, I want to continue hearing my music or continue a phone call. Well, you're, that's, you just have to take the helmet off and turn it off and take your phone, unplug it, and hook it up to your AirPods or put it up to your ear. But if it's connected to the TFT and the helmet's connected to the TFT, they're going to fight because you have to connect those uh, to the number one phone slot for all your functions to work. All right, folks, I think I rambled on enough here. Maybe that helps you guys. I hope it does. Um, love this bike. I love the setup. I did get the uh, quad lock system installed with the anti-vibration. Uh, it's little rubbery boots in here, and you can see how it wiggles around a lot. The phone does wiggle a lot, but I don't use the phone while I'm driving uh, for, for navigation because I have the Nav 6. Um, the only problem I've had with the NAV6 is rerouting. I have three other Garmin products. I have one on my truck, one on my other motorcycle, which is a Zumo, and I have another Garmin in another car back home. Uh, those all work perfectly, and if I am going in the interstate and Garmin wants me to turn off to the right and I miss that turn, it only takes it like a second and boom, it's rerouting. Uh, on this motorcycle, if it tells me to turn, and I missed my turn, it can take up to 10 seconds before it to realize I didn't go the way it wanted me to go and it has to reroute me. And if you're doing 70 miles an hour down the interstate, 10 seconds is a lot of time. Uh, so that's the only issue that I've had with the NAV6 is it takes too long to reroute me, anywhere up to 10 seconds. Sometimes it's quicker, but it has taken up to almost 10 seconds. I counted it one time. Uh, other than that, it works great. Um, and I haven't really had any other problems with it. The connectivity problems all stem from the Shoei SRL only having really two phone slots. And in order for your phone and everything to work and the TFT to work, you have to connect those to the first phone slot. And that, that, that media select and pairing phone select and stuff, I'd have to read up more on that and find out if we could put them in one of those, if it might help it, or if you just push a button and it swaps from one to the other, you know, effortlessly. I just don't know. But I have not been able to get it paired up when I have my phone paired to my helmet. It just doesn't work. It fights too much. And I go long periods of time will not being able to answer a phone or hear that I can answer the phone, but it won't pipe it through my helmet. I can play my music, on the phone but it won't pipe it through my helmet so i disconnected the connection between the helmet and my cell phone and uh, when i turn the bike on i wait till that connections lights up white before i turn on my helmet and if i do those simple steps it pairs up perfectly every time all right folks cornholio out you guys have a great night and i hope this helps god bless you god bless america Corn oil out. Don't forget to ride that thing.